former White House aide Omarosa Manigault Newman is spilling yet more details about her time in the Trump administration and threatening to release more recordings. Take a listen. The question about whether I, or not I do, absolutely. I have this vast historical knowledge and relationship with Donald Trump, 15 years, and I've been very good about documenting the evolution of that relationship, which is what I put in my book, Unhinged. The White House is hitting back hard, characterizing her as a disgruntled ex-employee and reportedly preparing for a counterattack against more potentially damaging recordings. Back with us, Wendy Osefo. To say what everybody is thinking, but maybe not saying or are saying, when she makes such claims about veracity, Wendy Osefo, it cuts both ways. It does cut both ways. And I think that what uh, Omarosa is doing here is she's using Trump's game against him. But what I want to underscore here is it doesn't take Omarosa or anyone in the White House to give us this information because when someone shows you who they are, you have to believe them. I know that the big talk last week was whether or not Donald Trump is racist because, you know, did he use the N-word or did he not? You know, racism is a layer construct here. You don't have to use the N-word to be racist. Racism is you believing that one race is superior to another, so you have no minority in senior leadership in the White House. Racism is you believing that one race is predisposed to crime, so you call Mexican rapists. Or racism is you believing that you're going to use your power to marginalize a group, so then you decide, you know what, I'm going to treat my tenants bad, and then they end up suing us. So yes, Omarosa is coming out of the woodworks and saying a lot of things, but for me and those individuals around me, this is all something that we already knew, and we can really file this under things that well, I have known for years. Yeah, well, uh, Wendy, on that then, very quickly here, Omarosa claiming that she she stayed in the White House to protect the Obama legacy. She not necessarily a friend of the African-American community, much less the Obama administration, Wendy. No, she is not a friend of the African-American community because she is the same person who said that we are all going to bow down to Trump. She is the same person who knew that Trump was the chief architect of this birtherism, but she went ahead and worked for his administration. So, no, Omarosa is not invited to the cookout. Um, Omarosa is not someone who we are fond of. And Omarosa is telling us things that we've all known years ago. And that's why most of us did not vote for him during the 2016 campaign. So, again, thank you, Omarosa, for telling us this. But we have known these things.